As excited as we all are about the dream to travel to Mars and possibly settle there permanently, in reality, the journey to the Red Planet is not going to be easy. It's quite evident in the mere fact that humans have never explored the Red Planet, while only a few lucky and quite expensive robot landers have. The trip to and from Mars is long, dangerous, and more challenging than any space mission that humans have ever experienced so far. One of the challenges that makes humans hesitant to journey to the Red Planet just yet is that humans are not used to being in space for such a long period of time. A round trip to Mars would generally last for an astonishing 21 months, 9 months to get there, 3 months exploring the planet, and another 9 months to get back to Earth. Every single second spent in the journey could easily be translated into costs in energy, fuel, and money, not to talk of the damage that all of that time drifting in space could do to the bodies of the space voyagers. The fear and hesitation that some have concerning space travel to Mars is suddenly justifiable, but what if there's a faster way to get there? Stay tuned and we'll show you just how this can be achieved. The known shortest distance between the Earth and Mars is 33.2 million miles. To better grasp the distance, here's how long it's taken spacecraft to cover the distance in the past. The Mariner 4 in 1965 was the very first spacecraft to make this trip, and it got to the Red Planet in 228 days, about seven and a half months just for a flyby. The shortest on record is the 128 days for a flyby by Mariner 9 in 1971, and the most recent craft, Perseverance, took a total of seven months en route in 2021. The number of scientists that currently believe that there are viable alternative methods of space travel that can drastically reduce the transit time to the Red Planet is growing continuously. If these methods prove to be effective, the way we think about and approach space travel will change drastically. Since the beginning and height of the space race, chemical rockets have been the most commonly used propulsion method. And now, SpaceX tech is far beyond previous creations by NASA and other space agencies, which will not only save time, but also make the long voyage more comfortable for the crew. The company is still working hard on their next-generation Raptor engines, which will power the Starship spacecraft and the Super Heavy rocket booster. The Raptor engines are known not only for their ridiculous amounts of power, but also their reusability. The Raptor engine burns chemical fuel to produce thrust just like all other chemical engines before it. What makes these engines truly different is their use of liquid oxygen and methane to produce high amounts of energy cultivated in waves that haven't been used before. But the long duration of the journey from Earth to Mars creates a logistics challenge. Despite the fact that each starship is loaded with huge amounts of metal ox before the initial blastoff, most of the fuel reserve would have been depleted to simply escape the Earth's gravitational pull to reach orbit. Musk said the ship would have to be refueled by the time it got to orbit, or it would not have enough fuel to get anywhere in space. The process of refueling requires juggling up to five other starships, acting as fuel tankers waiting in space. The amount of fuel expected for each journey of these fuel tankers to escape gravity on their own translates to more cost for SpaceX. This is another reason why scientists and engineers are looking for ways to travel between the two planets at a much quicker speed. Thus, it led to the introduction of the nuclear-powered rocket. A nuclear-powered reactor on a rocket would generate heat from uranium fuel. That thermal energy would in turn heat up a liquid propellant, typically liquid hydrogen, which will expand into a gas and shoot out the back of the rocket, giving it an insane amount of thrust. Scientists predict that a rocket like this will produce twice the amount of thrust per unit of propellant than the current chemical system. This will in turn reduce the average Martian trip from about 210 days to roughly 90 days. But this approach to space travel scares most people thanks to the Chernobyl disaster among other past nuclear events in history. Nuclear energy has a sort of bad reputation at the moment despite it's actually being very safe thanks to the existence of safeguards to prevent the possibility of nuclear leakages or exposure. In fact, as an added protective measure, the nuclear-powered rocket would be sent into space using a chemical rocket, and only when it's out of our planet would it begin using its nuclear power. But what if we could get to Mars even faster than that? The use of ion engines provides the next best option for this. There have been heavy investments in research of these ion engines to understand just how powerful they can be. Unlike chemically propelled engines, Ion engines would accelerate electrically charged atoms, known as ions, through an electric field. This will propel the rocket ship forward in an incredible manner. However, the ion engine really hits its stride once it reaches space. Outside of the Earth's atmosphere, the charged ions will be giving the engines continuous push, not unlike the push of the wind on the sails of a boat. 
The manner of propulsion will get the rocket ship moving faster than a typical chemical spacecraft. Rockets powered by these ion thrusters can reach a speed of up to 200,000 miles per hour, or 90,000 meters per second. On the flip side, these ion thrusters trade off top speed for low acceleration, which is why this method might be perfect for trips across our solar system alone. This revolutionary ion engine can take only 39 days to make the journey all the way from Earth to Mars. But what if we could go even faster than that? The most futuristic and exciting method of space travel that could get us to Mars the fastest is a photonic propulsion system. This one-of-a-kind rocket would rely on the momentum of particles of light to move the ship forward. Also known as solar sail technology, it's quite frankly a far-fetched idea, but it's been in development over the years by numerous scientists, and it seems to be proving an actual viable option. Particles of light don't have any mass, but these protons do have energy and momentum, and when they reflect off of an object, that momentum is transferred into a forwarding motion. It's basically using the energy from the sun to move away from the sun. When large enough sails are attached to the starship, photons from the sun will hit the sails and drive the starship forward. How big would the solar sails have to be to work on the 165-foot starship? Think only in sizes of magnitude of soccer pitches. Photon propulsion is particularly great as they're more environmentally friendly for the benefit of those concerned with preserving the environment out in space. It also makes it easier to steer the starship in the right direction towards Mars or whatever the destination planet may be. Simply altering the positioning or angle of the sails will make the starship go in the direction that you want. As the starship moves further away from the sun, fewer photons from the sun can strike the sails, which results in less speed. But that can be easily remedied by using laser beams that also produce photons that can be shot from anywhere at the solar sail. At the moment, it's predicted that photonic propulsion could get a small robotic craft to Mars in just three days. While the Starship might not be able to achieve similar speeds due to its weight, it will certainly move very fast. Interestingly enough, the predecessor of the Starship has been involved in projects involving solar sails. Carl Sagan's association, the Planetary Society, currently headed by Bill Nye, spearheaded the efforts to put Light Sail 2, the first spacecraft in orbit to be propelled solely by solar sails. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket was tapped to launch the Prox spacecraft that carried the Light Sail 2. The Light Sail 2 is described to resemble a loaf of bread, weighing only 11 pounds. But when completely unfurled, the Light Sail 2 measures 344 square feet in surface area. The sail is made from super thin, tear resistant material named mylar, which is thinner than the hair on your head and is coated with a highly reflective material. It also has components that let it detect when the sun's rays are the strongest and to take advantage of them. There's little question that photonic propulsion might be a game changer, since it could not only speed up exploration, but allow humanity to go to Mars and beyond. All of these new and promising modes of transportation have the potential to drastically alter how humans traverse the galaxy and usher in a new golden era of space travel. Let's start the discussion. Leave your opinions below on the new futuristic modes of transportation in the comment section below.